Hello, Internet. We're back. Uh, my camera's working again. So that's great. Uh, took <laughs> took way longer than I thought. There were some driver issues that happened. I'm on... Yeah. Anyway, works now. Cool. Fantastic. We're going to be working with Vive Trackers. Uh, specifically, I'm going to be trying to figure out how to get these to track in Steam VR. So I have a completely empty scene. We're going to try to get this thing tracking so we can just see where it is in 3D space so I can move it around and an object will move with it. I have some projects that I'm working on in the background there. You can't see them yet, but you will. It's going to be cool. Uh, so once we get that whole thing working, uh, I'll show you a little bit more of where this is going. But for now, we just need to actually get something that we can track in 3D space so that we know where it is. So what you need to do is pull in this camera rig. I'm making this up because I've literally just <laughs> read how to do this. And now we're going to actually see if it works. Hopefully it works. <laughs> so what we need to do is create some sort of tracker. So I'm going to call this our object tracker. And then let's just add sphere. Uh, a cube probably makes sense. Point, point 0.1, point 0.1, and point 0.1. That should be close enough. We just want it nice and small. It's going to be bigger than this because that's still a tenth of a meter. So I don't know how big a meter is. That, that, something like that. Somewhere in that range. <laughs> so it's going to create a cube that is attached to this object tracker. And then these object trackers are inside of the camera rig, which the camera rig represents the play space, which is this. Uh, so these tripods behind me, uh, that thing behind me is uh, a tripod with a Vive tracker on it. And there's one actually behind my camera. And so both of those are used to locate where this thing is. And then once you have that, hopefully we can take that and actually turn it into something. So if I just run this now, nothing's going to happen because all I did was just parent an object to the play space, which it'd be weird if that just magically worked. So what we're going to do is add a Steam VR tracked object. One thing I noticed, <laughs> this actually works. So I did actually get this far, uh, just kind of making sure all the components were there for that I would need. So the Steam VR tracked object you can actually just type that and it will under, it will skip over underscores and things like that, which is fantastic. It will automatically work. This gives you a list of all these devices. We don't, apparently this gets set at runtime. We don't need to deal with this right now. And the origin is not needed either. So this actually is all we need to track this object. The problem <laughs> is if I were to start this right now, it won't it won't work so one trick with VR development is if you split your windows up if you put your game over here and your scene over here you can actually still view the scene uh, but uh, we moved our cube got moved to our camera it's here sort of in a weird orientation I think aligned with the camera exactly could be wrong Yep, not aligned with the camera exactly, but close. Uh, don't know why not exactly, but it doesn't really matter. Point here is it doesn't it doesn't move. Uh, <laughs> that's not that that's no good. So what we need to do is actually add it to the camera rig. The camera rig has a list of objects here that works. One of the things that I found learned this while watching a video tutorial on this. You can actually just drag and drop onto this onto arrays and it will just add it. And I think you can just keep, yeah, you can just keep doing that and it will just keep adding them onto that. So if you just drop it to the, the header name, the name of the uh, list you're adding them to, Unity is smart enough to just be just to append them. That's neat. <laughs> so we have an object tracker. We've now registered it as a tracked object. That's what this list is all about. We have our controllers registered. You'll see them off in the corner because they're still on their stand over there. But that's fine. We just need this to track. 
Maybe. <laughs> Everything was going so smoothly. No? Well, um, what, where did... Well, it works. Um, <laughs> so this is, this is interesting. So my stand for my, for my, uh, wands, my Vive wands that you can see them, they're kind of lying on the ground now. That only is visible to one. So one of my controllers can be tracked while they're on that. The other one can't. Apparently, you can't use a Vive tracker unless you have two controllers. So since one of them was not tracked, this wasn't showing up either. As soon as that one came on, this started working. Why? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. But you can see uh, that little cube there in the center of the screen is rotating and doing all these other things. So this is this is our our Vive tracker thing. <laughs> so it it should be directly connected to whatever this thing is doing, and we can actually track it. Uh, obviously, I have no no reference, but you know, here it is. <laughs> so we can we can use this now to track. The documentation is a little bit lacking. By that I mean there really isn't any um and that's a weird bug why why do i need both the controllers the thing i was planning on doing doesn't use the controllers at all uh so that's kind of weird but anyway we got there it took longer than expected but it worked my hair is doing all sorts of weird things i should fix that there we go that's definitely fixed now um, but yeah, this is a Vive tracker being tracked in Unity, and I guess guess it works now. That's interesting. Something to keep in mind. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it here because that that's really all I wanted to cover here. It was supposed to be super quick, and I ended up recording for almost 30 minutes. Oops. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's how you do that. Just set it up in the objects in the tracked objects add the tracked object component and you're good to go as long as you have both of your controllers tracked and can find documentation on how to fix that because I would just guessed <laughs> so yeah that's that's that anyway we'll be bu building more on this in the future there's a really fun project I'm working on that you'll see more of so if you guys want to see where that ends up going Hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you like this kind of video and you want to see more of that, hit the like button. Uh, if there's anything else you want to see, any feedback you have for me, leave a comment below and I will definitely try to get back to you. But other than that, that's it for this video. So until next time, see you, internet.